Hi everyone and welcome to the next video in the pre education series. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I've studied for the past four years and it managed to get me a very competitive GPA for applying to medical school and I got through every single one of my classes. Not a breeze, but I got through them and this particular study method worked really well for me. I will say, give a huge disclaimer across the screen here, this is not the scientifically proven best way to study in order to retain information and for long-term memory. It is by no means the best, according to science, uh, but personally, this is what's gotten me through an undergrad load of material. For medical school, I will most certainly be changing up how I study, but for those of you who are still in undergrad and maybe trying to think of a better way to study, this worked really well for me. Uh, it also helped. This method requires sort of starting to study a little bit early. This is not the technique if you are a chronic crammer, but if you are the type who likes to study at least a week in advance for an exam, this is ideal. It really works for me, and I'll be showing you now with some screen sharing what I've been doing for the past four years. Just as a little bit of an intro, I use a, I think this is a 10.5 inch iPad as well as a, an Apple Pencil to take all of my notes. Uh, I was presented with an opportunity to get this at a pretty low cost my um, junior year and I've been using it ever since. I invested big, well, not too big, but I just invested in nice Apple products then and I haven't had to buy anything new or update anything since. For my notes, I use GoodNotes. After a long time deciding between GoodNotes and Notability and a lot of YouTube videos comparing the two, I went with this and I'm really glad that I did. It's worked great for me and it also syncs with my Mac so I can open up all of my notes on my computer if I need to. So I use GoodNotes, right. And what you're seeing here now is one of the slides that starts off at um, in my anatomy class. That's what we'll use as an example for today. And this is what I have open during lecture and I'm looking at it, taking notes like you'll see here and just annotating as I see fit. And then once we've gone through all of the material for a given exam, um, there's this grid format here where you can see it all. Once I've gone through all of that and had a first pass in lecture, I then open up a new page in GoodNotes where I can start to compress all of that. So if you haven't picked up already, I make summary sheets in order to study. So here's an example. This is for the specific material that you were just looking at. Once I've gone through everything and sort of put together themes in my mind, I can then start to lay out my summary sheets accordingly. So what's great about GoodNotes is that you can add shapes in any manner that you like. So even if you're terrible at drawing, you can add shapes <laughs> like the ones I'm making terribly on the side here. But I, this is all summarized from my notes. So for example, I noticed that for every single one of the information pathways, my professor gave the information according to a stimulus, a sensor, an input signal, and an integration center. So I made sure to put that over overlying theme in the top corner. And then as we moved forward, I made sure to include all of that for each one of the special senses. So vision, hearing, equilibrium, smell, and taste are the five that we went over. And you can see I use a combination of highlighting, color coding, as well as images taken directly from the lecture in order to make good notes. And it's different for everyone, the information you choose to include or not include. And it also depends on your professor. They might only say things that are important or they might say things that aren't really important and strictly test from the lecture slides. And that will determine what you put on here. But what was nice about this is I can summarize everything, put it into groups, make it into themes in a way. Um, and here you can see a page where I used a lot of pictures from the slides, but I can annotate as I see fit and sort of make it all make sense in my mind. And then I hope, I plan to do this about a week before every test. Um, and then leading up to the exam date, I can simply go through and review these. And I have a slight photographic memory. And so if I can't remember something on exam day, I can almost certainly remember where it was on my summary sheet. And that can usually help me with context clues. If I can't remember that exact word, I can remember the words that were around it or the overlying theme of that page. And that can usually help me get to the answer. Um, so I wasn't gonna make notes for you guys during this, but um, 
here is an example of how I do it. Um, this is what got me some pretty good grades throughout all of college. And I can show you, I've done this for a variety of different courses. I can show you my psych ones here. There's the notes for my psychology class. And then when I get to the actual slides, this is when I got a little lazy and took a lot of pictures from the lecture. But prior to that, you can see, I try to color code each theme differently so I can remember exactly what I'm talking about. Use shapes if I can. And the titles that you're seeing here are not my handwriting. Everything else is, but the titles I really wanted to be neat. So those are just text um, fonts that I downloaded. Those are easy to download. I just watched a YouTube video on how to download them. And then you can get a variety of them. It, I like it because it makes my notes seem a little bit neater and takes the pressure off me to write perfectly all the time. So yeah, those are my notes and that's how I got my way studying throughout college. Thank you.